Number two, an exception raised does not automatically roll back uncommitted changes to tables. A very important thing to keep in mind. If you execute multiple DML statements, inserts, updates, deletes, and they complete successfully in your session, and then an exception occurs, maybe even from the next DML statement you execute, the exception being raised does not cause the previously successful changes to be rolled back. You still, as a, as a developer or as the user, have the option of committing or rolling back yourself. In general, the rollback will not occur unless the exception goes unhandled out to the host environment, leaving the PLSQL engine, and then the rollback will be executed by the host environment. So let's take a look at this dynamic inside Live SQL. I run my script, and here's what I see. First of all, I create a copy of the HR employees table because I'm going to be making changes to it in my Live SQL session. And every time you connect to Live SQL, you've got a brand new session. You need to create any objects in it that you want to play around with. But you do have the HR schema to access. So I create my local employees table. And then I'm going to execute some DML. Moving on to statement two. First, I find out how many employees have a salary of $10,000. And as you'll see below in the output, four. Then I'm going to update all the employees to give them a salary of $10,000. Woohoo! That's a good day for everybody, unless they were making, I suppose, less than $10,000. Fine. So then I do an update statement that says, well, let's, give, let's set the last names of employees to strings that are of length 10,000, pad out to the right with asterisks. Well, that's too big a value for a last name. So that's going to fail. So the exception is raised out of the update statement. I trap the exception with my one others clause, and I'll display the error message. Then after that, I keep going in my block of code. There's no more error. And what you'll find, and what you see here, is that the previously unsaved but successful changes made to tables are still there waiting to be saved or rolled back. So now I see that 107 employees actually have a, have a salary of $10,000. So just because an exception is raised in your session does not mean that previously unsaved changes have been rolled back. They're still waiting for you to commit or roll back yourself or allow your user to do it.